I want to tell you a story about the beautiful play called Neighborhood Watch. One night, a couple of years ago, a young and gifted Melbourne playwright who was making quite a name for herself at the time and whose work I admired, came up to me at a party and said, I would like to write a role for you. I said, go ahead. <laughs> she said, what sort of character? I said, tough and funny. That was the conversation, very satisfactory. <laughs> Time passed. She emailed to say she had written a play, could we meet? We met for coffee. She brought me a small gift and a play, a huge fat play, which I read and loved. We kept on meeting for coffee, each time a gift, and each time a slimmer manuscript. All the while, the play was being shaped with the help from an artistic team at Sydney's Belvoir Theatre, which was also making a name for itself. Time passed, and one day a group of eager actors and our playwright assembled in a rehearsal room in Sydney with another gifted young Melbourne artist, they're everywhere these days, a director who was also making a name for himself. He was Simon Stone, and he created an elegant and simply perfect production of this beautiful gem of a play, which was by now called Neighborhood Watch, and which was also by now a slim manuscript but packed with intensity, comedy, tragedy, and love. It's a suburban story set in a street in Kew, Melbourne. But for the Sydney season, we couldn't, we didn't identify it as a Melbourne suburb, but now we can. <laughs> as Simon said this week, how wonderful to be finally playing this very Melbourne play here in Melbourne. And as my darling Lally Katz, who wrote this perfect gem of a play, promised, she wrote a tough and funny character for me to play. The character is Anna, an 80-year-old Hungarian-Australian woman with a strong Hungarian-Australian accent, <laughs> eccentric and opinionated, who still lives here in Kew, in Melbourne. She inspired the play. Lally spent a year in Anna's kitchen with Anna and her ferocious and loyal dog, Bella. And in writing her play, she explored deep beneath the surface, uncovering indeed, illuminating, the humor, tragedy, loss, and ultimate triumph of the survivor. A refugee from the horrors of the Soviet takeover of her country, Anna developed the tough outer shell of a modern day mother courage refusing to be dominated or compromised when she believes herself to be right, which is often. <laughs> As an unlikely friendship develops with her young neighbor, Catherine, who is struggling with her own demons, Anna slowly allows herself to trust, and in turn, Catherine gains an insight into her own life and purpose that is gained only by Anna's steely-eyed observations. Anna's story is extraordinary, and Lali tells it with sensitivity and a dramatic punch. It's a play about friendship, about love, about neighbors, about community. It's about secrets and loss, trust. It's about demons, about ghosts, and about history, our shared history. It's about life, really. I love this play, and I love its playwright, Lali Katz, for giving me such a wonderful gift a gift that a cast of wonderful actors wants to share with you. It'll be a joy, finally, to bring Anna and her neighborhood circle to the place where it belongs, her own hometown of Melbourne. I'm looking forward. Thank you.